And we broke into programming earlier to give you the latest on the weather, and we will continue to do that as necessary. And with another round of storms today, we wanted to check on the residents of Southampton County. They know all too well the effects of significant rain, what it can do to the Blackwater River. Who could forget how it jumped its banks and caused so much damage after Hurricane Floyd? Ten of your sides, Anita Blanton is here now with an update. Anita. Uh, Nicole, Hurricane Floyd is back in 1999, and yet they're seeing this again today. It rolled through right after Hurricane Dennis. Now, it came with high winds, tornadoes, and of course, high rainfall totals that led to prolonged cleanup efforts after it had passed. So, after having gone through something like that, the people we spoke to today say they're not too worried about what they're seeing so far. They do have some flooding and low lying areas like what you're seeing here along the Blackwater River. It's caused some roads like the ones that you'll see in the video also to be impassable. But Donald Edwards says that these kinds of issues are typical. It usually floods on the other end of Zunai Circle before it comes down to this end. And then after it comes on this end, it takes over about three or four days before it gets to Franklin. He's one of the residents that lives in that area that flooded pretty bad during Hurricane Floyd. He says he's not worried now, but sustained rain could change everything. The area is currently blocked off like this one. Well, they have been blocked off since last weekend, and Donald says usually they have about two to three times a year when they have to close those off, especially in cases like what we've seen just recently with Tropical Storm Andrea rolling through five inches of rain coming in their area or more in a short period of time. In the studio, Anita Blanton, 10 on your side.